Welcome to the second of our How To Do KnitWiz video series. In this video, we will show you how to create and then manage swatches in your knitwear design. Ready? Here we go again. We will start on the design page. Before we jump into swatching, you'll notice the Select an Image menu towards the top of the page. This is where we can add photographs of the garments that we create. But since we're just getting started, we don't have a photograph, so we'll leave this blank. If we wanted, we could edit the details that we created earlier, but we're happy with that information, so let's move on to managing swatches. Since this is our first try at KnitWiz, we've yet to create a swatch and we know that we need to do that. So select the Make a Swatch menu. And this takes us to the swatch page. Making swatches may seem like a waste of time, but trust us, it is necessary for you to make your own swatches. Making a swatch is also a good way to try out stitch patterns that you are thinking of using in the garment. Then, when you get to a complex cable or lace part of the pattern, you'll be a pro and fly through those stitches. Swatches help us make certain that the fit will be just right when you're all done knitting. A lot of you could probably tell us stories of how it was very often a challenge to match the recommended gauge for an old paper pattern. You may have used a yarn that created too many stitches per inch, or too few. Then, since you really wanted to use that particular yarn, you had to do some tedious calculations so that the final garment was the size you wanted. Never again. KnitWiz takes away all that bother. You only have to make some choices and knit the swatch, and voila, KnitWiz calculates everything for you. Let's get started with our swatch for Mom's sweater. We want to use a stockinette stitch for the body of Mom's sweater, so we choose just that. But what if we want to use a stitch that isn't listed? No problem. On this page, we can detail the stitch that we want to use. We can also decide if we want to keep this stitch private or if we will share it with everyone else who uses KnitWiz. For Mom's sweater, we are happy with the stock on that stitch, so we will leave this page blank. Next, we need to decide which yarn we will use in Mom's sweater. Unfortunately, we don't see the yarn that we want, so we will choose the Create a Yarn button and get just the yarn that we need for the sweater. On this page, we will specify the yarn that we have already picked out for Mom's sweater. The yarn that we want to use is called Cumbria. The yarn comes from the fiber company. The color of the yarn is Nutkin. And the type of yarn is Worsted. We will share this yarn with everyone on KnitWiz so we check that box. We also know that this is not a hand spun yarn so we leave that box blank. To keep things rolling, we have filled in the rest of the data. So now we can add this yarn to the library of yarns available to everyone on KnitWiz. Before we start filling in the details, let's touch on something that's very important. Be sure to track the length of yarn used in the swatch as you're making it, or unravel and measure it afterwards. We're going to do our measurements in inches, so we leave that box alone. We made a swatch that we will use as an example to help explain gauge. Gauge width between the pins in this example swatch is 4 inches. Carefully counting, we see 22 stitches in that width. To get the gauge height, we measure in the same way. Using our example swatch, we find the measurement between the pins is 4 inches. And in this swatch, we can see that there are 18 rows across our measured distance. Now that we have all those numbers, we can place them into our swatch information. The next item to note is the size of needle that we use to knit our swatch. We use a US size 8 needle. Remember that all the data that we were listing here will end up in our custom knitting instructions, so accuracy now will save questions later. To save time, we have filled in the last few boxes for the creation of our swatch. Now we can select the Add a Swatch button. This takes us to the Your Swatches page, and we're not quite done yet. We need to fit our newly created swatch into our design. To do that, we select the Your Designs menu, and this takes us to the Design Details page where we can see a box for Mom's sweater. To fit this swatch into our design, we select the box. From here, we select the Manage Swatches menu, and then select the Manage Swatches button. Almost there. We choose the Select a Swatch menu, and our newly created swatch pops up. Now we select our swatch, and then use the Use Swatch button. Presto, the swatch is assigned to Mom's sweater. That was easy. The important thing to remember is that we have created a swatch that we can use in any design we create now or in the future. KnitWiz will remember this swatch, the yarn we picked out, and any other of a multitude of things related to the design and making of a knitted garment. That's all there is to creating a swatch and using it in a design. KnitWiz has eliminated the tedious chore of matching the recommended gauge from old paper patterns. What a time saver. And best of all, no math. 
We will see you next time when we move into step two of the design process. Mom's sweater is getting closer. Video number three in our series will show you how to add pattern pieces to our design. Happy knitting, fellow knit wizards, and thanks for watching.